guys, welcome back to week five of our six week henna series where we are doing our final henna design for this series. And we are gonna be starting off with, as always, drawing it out on our paper and pencil. So go ahead and grab a paper and pencil and have your cone, scissors, and paper towel nearby and we're gonna get started. You have your paper and pencil, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Go ahead and trace a hand on your paper and we're gonna start at the bottom by drawing a swirl. So this design is gonna be based on stacking swirls on top of each other. So I'm just gonna draw a second swirl. This is a lot like when we do our paisley, but if you can't quite get the hang of it, I would suggest pausing the video, getting another piece of paper, and just practicing drawing these double swirls a couple of times. And be patient with yourself because it is something that takes practice, so it will come to you. But what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of building these swirls on top of one another along the wrist and moving up towards the fingers. All right, so like I said, we're just going up towards the fingers. I couldn't quite fit an entire swirl there, so I kind of drew just like the bottom half of a swirl. Um, going up towards, as always, our ring finger. And then I'm just going to fill in some empty space with this V design that I chop off the top with a straight line. And then I'm going to continue up that ring finger drawing more swirly shapes in. There is no rhyme or reason to this, so if your shape doesn't look exactly like mine, that is totally okay. We're going to go back down to the wrist though, and we're going to start filling it in. So we're repeating the chevron design. I hope you guys are starting to see a pattern here in the designs we've been doing this six week series. A lot of triangles, a lot of geometric shapes. So go ahead and fill in that first swirl. I'm just doing these like soft tooth designs on either side of this swirl to try to fill it in all the way. And then for the second swirl, I'm just going to be doing lines inside of it at different spacing intervals. So kind of like a candy cane almost. And then I'm going to fill in that longer space between the lines with some triangles. And all we're doing with that little triangle piece, the V triangle that we made up top, is just filling it in with more of itself. So we're just kind of layering that in and then doing another sawtooth design in the half swirl that we did going up to the ring finger. And on the finger, I'm just trying to fill these shapes in. So I'm just drawing random lines inside to try to create a pattern. You guys can color them solid. You can do diagonal lines. You can do the triangles that we've been doing. You can also just leave them blank if you feel more comfortable with that. It's whatever you want to do, really. And I'm just coloring in random pieces now because with henna, it looks really pretty when you color stuff in. So I'm just picking random parts along my design to color in. And like always, if this video is going too fast for you, please, please, please just press pause and do it at your own pace.
Okay, so I'm just finishing up coloring in this bottom swirl and we've colored in a lot of random parts throughout an, our entire design so far. And so if you wanna pause here, this is a great design just by itself. Um, it is kind of intricate, but if you wanna kind of up the difficulty level, we're gonna be building on it a little more. So I'm adding a triangle chevron design along that bottom swirl. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna draw the same design at different parts of my current design. So I'm just gonna add that sawtooth pattern in to some empty spaces wherever I can fit it. And that's just to like make the design feel more continuous. But if you guys have finished, this is gonna be our final henna design. I know it looks complicated, but it really is just a series of that swirl plus the sawtooth design and if you don't quite feel comfortable with it i do urge you to try it again and again because the only way to get good at this is with practice and so your first design may not look great but come back in an hour try it again and you will see improvement but also with henna nothing has to be perfect so do not feel like your design has to look like mine at all. You can definitely add your own flair to it. You don't have to fill things in like I do. You can make it more simple by leaving out the designs inside of the swirls. Do whatever you need to do to make this an enjoyable creative experience for you. But once you're ready, as always, I suggest you trace the design on paper with your henna cone to get used to using your henna cone. And then once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and apply the design to skin. Start with our design on skin. And like I've always said, it may not look exactly like the design we drew on paper because transferring a design can be really hard, especially when the hand sizes are different. So I'm gonna try my best and I urge you guys to try your best, but always be flexible and willing to change if things don't completely happen the way we plan them to. So go ahead and I'm gonna be starting with those swirls that I'm layering on her hand and drawing that basic shape that we came up with. And then I'll go back and fill it in with you guys. But as always, I'm gonna let you guys kind of get to it, watch the video, pause it when you need to pause it and don't feel rushed at all. So take your time and I'll come back and see how you guys are doing at the end.
Okay guys, so we're just finishing up here and as you can see this design looks way different than the one that we had drawn out and sometimes that's just how things work out. You just have to be a little different but I think this one is cute nonetheless and I'd love to see what you guys came up with. But join me next week. I hope you guys had fun and next week we will be doing our final week of this henna series and making our final painting. So I'm excited to see you guys then.